What is up YouTube people? Kuda Malo here coming at you with another exciting video and in this one I'm going to give you my best bang for the buck tire repair kit. Uh, so I'm going to start this video off with a warning. This is the kit that I use. Uh, I keep underneath the seat of my motorcycle. It is strictly, like in my opinion, this is just my opinion, it is strictly designed to get you from the side of the road where you got an offending object in your tire to a repair shop or to your house. I do not recommend keeping this plug in your tire like indefinitely or for any length of time. You know, I, in my specific case, I had it in my tire for about 30 or 40 miles or so just so I could get back home. Uh, so let's continue with the video. Just keep that in mind. It, it really is a temporary patch. Keep that in mind. Temporary, temporary, temporary. Okay, so uh, I put a link for this uh, specific kit in the, in the description below. I also put a link for the one that does not have the CO2 cartridges. Personally, I keep the CO2 cartridges even though I also keep a compact tire inflator because you never know. It's always good to have a backup and a backup and a backup, right? So let's talk about what's all in the kit. So this is the stop and go pocket tire plugger. This specific model is the 1001. Uh, the 1001 basically means that it has the CO2. The 1000 does not come with the CO2. So what comes in the kit is you get a business card type uh, picture description of what's in there. Um, they're saying that you need a pair of pliers to use this kit and you do, but the pliers are not included with the kit. You will need to provide your own. So what does come in the kit is you get uh, two laminated cards. One of these is like an instructional card. It kind of has what to do with some illustrations, etc. The other one is basically a uh, like a warning card that the CO2, yada, yada, yada. Then you get four canisters of CO2 with a hose. Uh, and this is where things get kind of tricky. One side of this hose goes into your tire uh, trader valve. The other side goes into the CO2 canisters. Uh, you do get a razor blade, uh, which I'll describe to you in a second. You get a application tool, which is basically how you get the plug into the tire once you've pulled out the offending object. There's an Allen key, and that's basically how it works, is you twist the Allen key. That's what pushes the plug forward. There's a nozzle. This is what the plug has to go through to get into your tire. Uh, you get a ream tool, and then you get a probe tool. So this is not designed to be an instructional video. I'm just showing you what's in the kit. But a basic overview of what happens is, uh, this is what happened in my specific case. This is about a week ago. I got a nail in my tire. Uh, long story short is I was basically on a highway in the wilderness, paved road. I came across an accident. Uh, this guy had basically done a high side fall. I think he just wasn't, uh, you know, he, he, he wasn't having a good day, <laughs> but he basically had a high sided fall. So I pulled off the cement or off the pavement into the dirt. And I think that's when I picked up the nail. Uh, I have a little bit of medical training. I was able to help the guy out. You know, just kind of render first aid. He made it. He survived. Ambulance came. Police came. They took a report. Tow truck came. The whole thing. Uh, but needless to say, my my act of good kindness uh, resulted in a flat tire. So what I basically did was uh, I have a pair of pliers in my motorcycle that came from the dealer. Uh, so I used the pliers to pull out the nail then basically use the probe tool just to kind of go in there and make sure that there was nothing else in there or nothing stuck in there. Uh, then what you do is, or what I did was I took the reaming tools. This is the reaming tool. And basically, let's see if I can grab focus here, a little bit better focus. Uh, so basically I use the ream tool to go in and out of the tire about five or six times just to make sure that the hole was a perfect circle, so to speak. Uh, it, it, gets it, it gets the hole size to about just a little shy of like a quarter of an inch. Uh, then what you do is you take the funnel, stick it onto the probe tool. So I can do this with one hand, like so. Uh, that goes into the tire. You basically unscrew the probe tool, and the funnel stays inside of the stays inside of the tire. Then what happens is uh, you get a plug. Uh, these come greased or pre-greased in the bag. Since my kit was from 2008, now it's 2020, just to make sure I had enough grease on here, what I did was I took some, I went to the oil fill cap of my motorcycle and basically put a little bit of oil around 
uh, the head and also around the shafts. That's what she said. Uh, just to make sure, just as an extra bit of insurance to make sure that it was well lubricated. Um, so basically this um, plug goes into the applicator. It goes in there and you press it down and then this part screws into the funnel. Uh, it's hard to do this with one hand, but you get the idea. This part screws into the funnel. Uh, so now you got this thing sticking out of your tire. And then what you do is see on the back there, there's like a little, uh, there's a nut back there. What you do is you use the L tool or the Allen tool to basically twist around. And basically as you keep twisting, that, that nut keeps moving further and further uh, through this applicator tool. And that's what pushes the actual plug through the funnel. So if you can imagine that, this little... This little plug goes through the funnel, boop, and then pops out on the inside of the tire. So then what I did was, uh, in my case, I had a compact tire inflator, so I didn't use the CO2. But in my case, what I did was I hooked up the compact inflator, got it up to around 30 PSI. Then I used a pair of pliers to pull the, uh, or once you, sorry, once you pull this out and you pull the funnel out, uh, this is what sticks out of the tire. So then I use my pair of pliers to pull this another, I'd say a total of two inches from the tire, just to make sure that this part pulls and seats up against the inside wall of the tire. So if you can see, sorry guys, trying to get focus here. Uh, so if you can see the, the plug itself, this, this part, if your tire wall is here, it basically pushes through like that. And then by pulling the end two inches I'm basically seeding this mushroom into the side so then I went up to uh, I went up to 40 psi at 40 psi is when I, I shut off the inflator and then basically the kit comes with the razor blade so you're supposed to cut off uh, flush with the tire so you cut off the end of the plug flush of the tire like I said guys this isn't an instructional video it's just designed to to show you why I picked this plug kit. Uh, but if you can see the offending hole was, was about right there. So let me further my warning about this kit. So I made it home. What I ended up doing was going to a motorcycle tire shop and they did a patch from the inside uh, that basically sealed off uh, the hole. And that should last me for another... Uh, they said there's no guarantee, but honestly, I think that patch would probably last me for maybe another 30, 40 miles until I have enough money <laughs> to basically buy a whole new front tire. I'm not riding the bike right now. I don't want to risk getting another flat or whatever, uh, but that is the warning, warning, warning that I'm going to tell you about is that this plug kit is just designed to get you from the scene of your you know, offending um, puncture, whether it's a nail that got in there, a piece of wire or whatever, basically to a tire shop so that they can, they can get you set. How long does the plug last in the tire? I'm not going to give you my opinion on that. I'm just going to tell you it's safer to just get to a tire shop as fast as you can. The safest thing actually you can do is call a tow truck. Like if you do get a nail in your tire, just call AAA if you're in the United States or call a tow truck, have them tow your motorcycle to a repair shop and then let your train repair technician at your tire shop tell you what the next course of action is. But anyways, that's why I chose this kit. It got me home. That's all that really matters. The link for this is in the description below. There's a like button below and there's a subscribe button below. Please hit those. I also included a link to the pocket tire plugger from Stop and Go without the CO2. But like I said, in my specific case, I'm glad I got the CO2 because it's just a second form of insurance, like in backup. Like, God forbid my tire inflator didn't work then I've got the CO2. So there you go, guys. Please like this video. Please subscribe to my channel and I will catch you on the next one. Oh, and if you're curious which inflator I use, check out the previous video where I describe that one, show you what that one looked like. And there's a link for that inflator in that description. So there you go, guys. Take care and I will catch you on the next one.